Previously on Cat Clips. After the cat's owner, Michael, discovers the cats can talk and then faints, Tuck and Boots use their magic to move his body to the couch, where he eventually wakes up to hear Honey sum up all their secrets in several succinct seconds. Cat Clips! Cat Clips! Cat Clips! Cat Clips! Mr. Michael, are you okay? Maybe the sight of honey was too big a shock for him. Hey, you can't blame me. Nobody told me that Michael could hear us now. What's she doing? Looks like some kind of facial ritual. Or maybe it's a tick. His eyes are talking, but his mouth isn't. Do you think he put himself on mute? No, I'm just thinking my thoughts, like you're thinking your thoughts. Oh, I see. You think because you can hear us talking, we should be able to hear your thoughts, too. Isn't that how this is supposed to work? We're not mind readers, no. You may be tuned into our frequency, but that doesn't mean you're tuned into our thoughts. They're actually two separate channels. Oh, I'm so confused. It's okay. This is all new to us, too. Are you sure I'm not having a mental breakdown? No more than usual. What are your symptoms? Well, let's see. I'm talking to cats, <laughs> one of which is a ghost. Holla! And I fully believe you guys are talking back to me, or mental texting, as you say. So I'm either having some kind of nervous breakdown or I'm suffering from fatigue and exhaustion. I mean, that's a popular reason these days, right? Well, maybe if you were a celebrity, which you clearly aren't. Honey! So I'd go with the mental breakdown. Well, thanks. I still can't believe you're a ghost. I, and that your voice sounds like a bandsaw. I know. And I can't believe you're wearing that hideous shirt. This isn't the love boat, you know. Wow. Heavy sarcasm. Now I understand why you were always so ornery. I wasn't ornery. I was fastidious. There's a difference. Anyway, it's great to see you again, even if it is only in spirit. You too, Michael. We had some good times, right? I'm sure you must be overwhelmed right now trying to process all this, so just take your time. We'll be happy to answer any questions you might have. Oh, okay. Um... Oh, who are the guardians of the magic wand? <laughs> Except that one. Okay, um, well, suppose I'm not dreaming, and I'm not going crazy, and I can really hear all you guys talk. I mean, how is this going to affect our relationship going forward? What do you mean? Well, are, are you still going to want me to pet you, and, and groom you, and, you know, snuggle up with you, or is that going to be all weird now? Oh no, you still pet us and groom us and all that wonderful stuff you've been doing. We'll just be able to give you some constructive feedback now. Ah. Uh. Well, I'm glad you brought that up because I'd really like to discuss our menu selection of late. I mean, some of the choices you've been making, seafood surprise and faux mignon, are just not cutting it. Uh, Chippy, I don't think now is the time for that. Why not? He's going to be feeding us soon, isn't he? What better time is there? And you thought I was ornery? Wait till you hear everything Tenacious Tippy has to say. I'm right here, you know. Hard to miss, dear. Hard to miss. Guys, guys, let's keep the bickering to a minimum, shall we? Michael is still new at the whole hearing us talking thing. We don't need to overload him with a lot of nefarious noise. Nefarious? You know the meaning of the word nefarious. Well, contrary to what my vocal twang might imply, I have a very extensive vocabulary. <sighs> oh, this is so bizarre. It's weird for us, too, believe me. Especially because you and I have very similar voices. Oh, you noticed that, too. I think you'd have to be Helen Keller not to notice. So you sound alike. So what? So does Amanda Bynes and a tumbleweed, but that still doesn't stop each of them from slowly rolling into obscurity, does it? Do you really all just sit around and talk like this all the time? Because that could be very entertaining. 
I mean, in small bite-sized segments, of course. We know! That's why we have our own YouTube channel! You do? And we're on Zwee.com as well! TMI, Tippy! TMI! Nonsense! And what a perfect time to hit the like button with my friends, Miss Chibi, Vanessa Knights 2005, T38C0MM3MTS3, Chibet, that one, and Avery Baloo, and a 123ABCXYZ ticket! Thanks, everyone! Now back to reality! What was that all about? Just some of Tippy's propaganda. Don't pay any attention. <laughs> Trey, you have some kind of um, Princess Leia thing going on there. What? You're sprouting hair! Looks more like an afro to me. Maybe the spell that made you change colors didn't actually wear off yet. Maybe it just mutated into something else. What spell? Why does this stuff always happen to me? That is really a disturbing look, Mr. Trey. Well, if it keeps growing, we can always start calling you... Frometheus! <laughs> Not funny, honey. Not funny. Get this! Get this! Get this! Get this! Now you can find cat clips and other Wizard of Wit videos on Zwee.com, the internet your way. Check it out today.